Well, 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 everyone. Thank you for coming back to the channel. <coughs> and we're back with another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Because I can, can, and I can, 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 and I will, will. Okay, we talking about Nene Leaks. Former house went and got bought up by somebody. Yes, Nene unleashed her family home that she shared with her deceased husband. It finally got sold after being on the market and having to have been slashed. I know about two times, but we got some rumors out there saying it was three times. But it don't matter. Could have been five times. Could have been ten times. The house got from under her. She is, uh, I'm sure, celebrating that she don't have to have that on her mind and wondering where she going to continue to get the money to pay for that monthly rent installment honey baby so i am so proud of her very very proud of her and Nene, do not go and get into another mansion type house like that. Because darling, it is just you. And if you plan on trying to kickstart your career in the entertainment business, don't be going boycotting nobody's entity anymore, especially not your employer. And you're not on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good thing. If you just settle down. And definitely don't hold no more animosity towards the Bravo camp, Andy Cohen, or any other women on the show. So just relax, relate, release, and enjoy your life. And remember, you are a seasoned woman out there. So conduct yourself accordingly. Don't be running out here like a little hoe. Like you back in your 20s trying to prove something to yourself and to men. You don't have nothing else to prove. You just have to make sure you take care of and watch your two children. And that's Brent. And every time you want to see Greg, just look at him. And you know you got to watch that one right now. I think his name is Byron. I'm not really sure. Because he was on the rougher side of some other man you were fooling with at the time. But they're your kids. They will always be your kids to the day you die. So continue to love on them. Continue to teach them the right things to do. Even though you ain't doing the right things right now. But we just going to put it in a process of grieving. Over here at the fam house. Tell Chanel's 48th world. We're giving you to act right and fly straight in one year. Uh, and I'm just talking about how you're looking out on these streets. You know, messing with these young thunder cats. And they're going to teach you something after a while. You keep messing with them. And, um, and how you're looking and portraying yourself as a little hoe out there. Now, we can't be hoes at 54. We can't be. We did that in our 20s or our early teenage years and stuff like that. But we got stuff to lose and we don't want to uh, lose endorsements or sponsorships because we out here looking like we ain't got no sense. We need to be selling people's products if we ain't selling our own. And I'm talking about the high end uh, business people, not the low end business people, okay? Uh, like Tiffany and company. Uh, getting on that Forbes 100 Women's list, if it is one, if not, you go and make it happen. You got the tenacity to do it. But, you know, like I said, Real Housewives was your bread and butter at one time. The doors have been closed. You should not want to go back because it just brings back too many bad memories of what you said about Andy Cohen, what you were trying to do to the Bravo Entertainment Network. Just use that as a learning tool and take that experience and move on to something bigger and better you know you got the Nathia lounge i don't know i know you were supposed to be co-owners with your son brent with that and that was supposed to be his genius uh, uh money maker and he's adding more stuff and he has this hookah uh mobile cart service to go cater outside parties and stuff of that nature but, you know, he can, if he learned the tool well, he can turn that into a gold mine. And he can thank you later on for being the forefronter of bringing it into fruition. But you don't really have time to be sitting up there doing that. I know you're doing it now because you have to. And you got some bad dirt on you as well. Like you, you want your employees to work around the holidays for free. Now, who does that, Nene? Why? Start with that fake foolery, fuckery, foolishness. Uh... <coughs> 
foretell stuff. Ain't nobody gonna be out there working for free. You ain't gonna be out there working for free. So don't ask your staff to be out there working for free. Cause you had to let me bring my four else out on you. You're being foolish fuckery, you're fake ass, and you're fraudulent for acting that way and asking your employees who need to pay their rent, their um, uh, their food bill. You know, everybody need their food, clothes, and shelter, so you shouldn't be asking that. And don't ever have me hear that you're doing that again because you wouldn't do it, so don't ask nobody else to do it. Okay, or well, I have to bring my foe else out on you. All right, but uh, it's a grand, great day over there at the Le- Nene Lisa's house, the castle. And hopefully you will keep in touch and keep ties with Marlo um hampton she seemed to have been a good friend of yours you definitely kept her on as a friend on the show for you when you were on the real housewives of atlanta and just because she's climbing higher now and she's using that platform to you know be lucrative and so she can have business so you know some business about herself and she won't have all these bad things in her past that keep surfacing up when people want to throw salt on her name about you know she used to steal she went to jail this that and the third she was a hooker called girl um woman of the night escort however you want to put it but she's trying to build from that and that's good when you're trying to take your past understand what you went did and understand where you went wrong build on it progress and use that as a stepping stone to say this is where I was but this is where I am now to worry about my past worry about where I'm going and where I'm at now okay so I salute her uh, and then she's raising or help raising her two uh, nephews while her sister's incapacitated at the time all right but yes 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 Nene definitely went on did that thing cut that house uh drastically cut I'm guessing for her to get from under that debt but um, a lot of people had I saw it yesterday or last night, but I didn't really feel like coming back on the tube trying to do a, a thing on it. So I said, I'll just pre-record it and we'll just let it ride whenever y'all see it. Y'all appreciate it and put your two cents in and, um, you know, weigh in in the conversation on the video. All right. But um, I took it from the New York Post. It was Mary Kay Jacob who brought it out on like I said yesterday, and she titled it, Nene Leakes Finds Buyer for Georgia Home Three Months After Husband's um, Death. Okay, and we don't want to hash all of that up about Greg dying and this, that, and third. Because most of the time, you know, when people have spent a good or a great deal of time in a house with somebody as a spouse uh, and you know they really embodied the house and made it theirs and when that one person is gone from it permanently whether it was through a death or a divorce or whatever we tend not to want to relive those emotions on a daily basis some of us go and renovate the house and make it ours and then some of us can't take it and then we just want something new because we just getting you know getting rid of that person and that can come to be a problem at times if you ain't good at keeping the same spouse or partner with you because you can't keep moving out houses just because y'all break up unless you got that kind of money and you were leasing the house from the get-go you know what i'm saying but i think nene was trying to buy this house but <clears throat> with her jaws being depleted as because of her attitude and her big head and she was thinking she was above everything and everybody and she wanted several seats at the table that weren't being offered to her and had no intentions of being offered to her so she got a little stupid and she started running the mouth and doing things that just weren't kosher to the people that were still paying her her paycheck uh, she was being a bully and she was trying to blast them out on social media and it didn't work out for her and hopefully she has learned her lesson and she don't negotiate and do things like that in the future in case another great opportunity comes her way she has to humble herself it's no time for her she's not she got more years behind her than she do in front of her so it's time for her to be a smart cookie out here and not a dunce and sitting in the corner somewhere all right but let's go on and get into this article that this lady wrote um it says nina leaks finds buyer to formal marital home in georgia after two price cuts uh looks like nina leaks has scored more than a new boyfriend heading into the new year she also bragged 
a bag to buy her for the long time marital home she shared with late husband Greg Leakes, the Post can report. After two massive price cuts and three months on the market, the 54-year-old former, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, opening at Georgia home, went into contract on December 28th. Okay, the two lived in the home for seven years. Bravo's beloved, a bit banished queen of shade, has slashed the price of her Duluth home just outside Atlanta by five hundred and five thousand after initially listing the mansion for four million in September. It was last listed at three thousand four hundred and ninety five million before finding a buyer. Leaks put the home up for sale on September 21st, the same month Greg passed away after a four-year battle with colon cancer. Um, this is considered the first home the couple purchased together back in 2015 for a little over $2 million after she was slammed for renting several properties prior in a 2008 eviction. So technically, she may have made one thousand or one million on the house from how they're averaging it up from the sale. I'm pretty sure she wanted more, but hey, this is what it is. Take your losses, move on, do better. Okay, learn from this experience, Nene. Uh, then it goes back to the article said made up of five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The mansion re requires several years to be completed, spanning almost ten thousand square feet. The Mediterranean style home gives you West Coast vibes. The uh, listing states it also comes with two shelf kitchens waterfall features and is accomplished by full wrapped around covered patio the owner suite is complete with a fireplace a freestanding tub and his or hers vanity double vanity the home spans nearly 10,000 square feet okay um, and then it gives a lot of little pictures of the home uh, then it goes in to say the Mediterranean style abode is set on a golf course lot with resort style features. According to the listing, the main level has a walkout pool with waterfowl features accompanied by a full wraparound covered patio. Uh, the gov gourmet kitchen features, features 10 foot tall cabinetry, Viking appliances, marble countertops, and oversized island and comes with a full second shelf kitchen. Okay. Um, and she goes on a little bit and talks about uh, the bereavement and how Greg died in the house and everybody that was somebody to him was in the room when he actually passed away. Um, his final words to Nene was to be happy, keep smiling, and hope you find someone, uh, a good one for yourself or something to that degree. Um, they shared a song, Brent 22, and both have children from previous relationships. So I'm wondering, did Brent, did Nina get Brent a house or an apartment or something? Or he's going to be living with her. But it still would be just them two for right now. So she still wouldn't need a mansion, you know, to be living in. Hell, she'd do good, get a townhouse or a uh, town condo or something like that. And, you know, just keep her options open because if she get married again, hopefully the man would just pay for the whole kit and caboodle and let her live there. You know what I'm saying? And put the name in her house just for death purposes. You know, she'll always have a home. And hopefully it will be paid for and she wouldn't have to sell it. Okay, she'll just maybe lease it out and stay in another condo or something she may have. But, you know, with her boyfriend being Naoshi and we all know he's still connected to his wife he ain't divorced he's legally separated from what I understand but that's not a divorce so he can actually go back to her pick up and, and leave Nene at any day any month any year so that's not secure right there and then Nene has a fun trend or fetish with messing with um uh, younger dudes so right now she's just trying to figure herself out which is nothing wrong with that you know but we don't want her to catch any diseases out there either so we want her to be very diligent about messing around in these streets and who she's calling her boyfriend now and may be her ex two months down the road so I would just like Nene to be out there dating and not claiming a man you know uh, unless she's really serious with them and 
the only way I could see her really being serious with Naomi is because she had been dating him prior to Greg dying. You know what I'm saying? They was having maybe a friendship that turned into something else. And, you know, most people don't like to really come out and tell you they have an open relationship. Even though when she was filming on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, she brought the whole essence up about, you know, her and Greg. Uh, talking or discussing about having an open relationship but he didn't seem like he was too keen too fun of the idea so we kind of let it just run its course and really didn't take too much into it um because he seemed like he was trying to be only nene and nene be only with him but i do know when you have needs uh sometimes the other party that can't fulfill your needs look the other way while you go and take care of your need and then come back but like i said i don't really know if that was the issue uh, but then they go on and talk about um, Nene having um, cocktails and hanging out with her new boo, Naomi, and this, that, and the third, which is really not uh, relevant to me at this time because I just think she's still trying to find her way. And uh, I hope she do it in a more better way with finding someone that's single, uh, keeping her options open for that and not just jumping in the sack with somebody that's really not hers, that cannot be hers unless he divorces his wife or his wife comes to a conclusion that she wants to end in uh, be in a relationship where Nene is going to be seen on his arm more so than anything and everybody's accepting of that, which I can't see the wife doing that, but hey, stranger things have happened out here. But we're going to salute Nene. We're going to say good blessings, good well wishes. Don't let nobody take your money, meaning another man. Or if you want to go uh, dating the same sex, don't let no other woman take your, your money. But, you know, you need to be due diligent with your finances because it's really only you. And only the Lord and you can watch out for you. The Lord can do it better than you, as we've seen. And we know as being wiser and uh, understanding life and how it goes sometimes sometimes you win sometimes you lose and sometimes you just have to be still and let the Lord handle everything for you but you got to work in that realm Nene and right now it doesn't seem like you're working in that realm you're just being rebellious and and trying to be free spirit and trying to test the waters but like I said you got more years behind you than ahead of you and it's time to play it smart even if it's saying you know you have to be alone for you know some time to understand some things but uh we don't need you to be used we don't need you to be a user we need you to be on one accord with your spirituality and be serious about it and the right guy will come along if that's what the lord deemed for you to have okay but you can't go out here all willy-nilly and doing all this uh this mess you're doing that i see that you're doing and expect to get anything good out of it unless you're serving another whole lord that i don't even get down with and that's between you and him and that the cookies fall may they, they may wherever they lay but uh i just wanted to salute you on getting rid of that home and the the bad memories that you had to go through it but hopefully you've made some good memories as well that you can take from it and um definitely don't overload yourself with a lot of debt because then that's when a lot of stress come in and even if you have to let the lanithia lounge go if brent can't come up with the finances to run it on his own then do that as well let it go you know because i think you're leasing the building anyway it's not like you actually built it and it's on your own property and stuff of that nature so you can always close that down when it gets, begins to be a headache and it starts to drain from the money sale that you got from your home so um yeah uh if y'all like the video y'all continue to check all them out look through look at them from beginning to end because i do drop, drop down gems okay it may not come at the first part of the video because you know i like to introduce y'all and i like to introduce new people coming in and i like to talk about things first before i get into the meat and potatoes so you gotta have patience and that's what this world is lacking or the individuals some of the individuals in the world are lacking these days is patience you know patience has to come with some type of understanding that you're not settling but you're investing you see what i'm saying so invest in what you like even if it's looking at quality videos from different youtube content creators because you should get something out of what they're saying that you can take with you you know and i call them golden nuggets you know what i'm saying 
wisdom experience that you can apply to your own life. Don't always come for the sensational stories and don't try to find some relevance of empathy or compassion on whoever we're talking about. Because everybody's struggle is not your struggle. But you can give empathy to someone and see if they're actually telling the truth. And it's not just for, t- you know, publicity and television. And they're just giving you more uh, fuckery than uh, uh, experience and, and, and <coughs> trying to understand what they're going through. So you won't have to make those same pitfalls. Okay. But all right, that's all I had on Nene. Make sure when you come in the house, you hit that like button. Okay, that's ringing the doorbell. Okay, ding dong, hit the like button, ring the doorbell. Come on in. And as you're leaving the house, make sure you subscribe and share my videos, guys. All right, that's the rotation we have over here. Like it, love it, gotta have more. <laughs> I'll see y'all guys next video. Bye bye.